So you might be running into this really weird problem on your iPhone where it keeps asking you to sign in to iCloud. Now, this is a really random issue. I don't even know why this happens. Actually, I do know why this happens. And it's mostly because your specific ID, your Apple ID that was within your account has now randomly been signed out. And all you're basically going to have to do is sign back into your account. So there's a few different ways of going about doing this. One, you can literally just type in your passcode, your password, and all that information right here within your Apple ID. And you should be able to go and log in. If you have two-factor authentication, you'll basically be able to log in as you normally would. Or if you'd rather want, what you could also do is you can make your way over to your Apple settings. So go and open up your settings application within your iPhone. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to tap on your username that's at the very top. And from this page, what you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and essentially see if there's a little login page that basically comes up. Sometimes if you tap on that name, it's going to require you to basically log in. So go ahead and log in. If, there, if that doesn't happen, you can also just click on one of these options like payment and shipping or one of these types of things. It's probably going to require you to log in. If not, then you should be able to go ahead and basically just, you know, there you go. If it's a little login panel, log in as you normally would. That may end up fixing it. You may also be required to log in and may basically, you know, make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection or a cell connection as well. Most of the time, if you have those types of issues, those are pretty much going to be the problems that kind of arise. If you're still getting those pop-ups, you may also just want to go and make your way over to your general settings on your iPhone and go and click on software update right there. And again, go ahead and just see if you can go ahead and have the ability of updating your iPhone. If you are able to update your iPhone, that's probably all you're going to have to do. And that's probably going to fix the issue. If there's no update available, go and restart your phone with the you know buttons that you usually would. Restart your device and that might end up fixing the problem for you. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.